Hi guys, Squall here, and welcome to another Firm Bus video. This is another look at the Belgium DLC, which is the new DLC, as I'm making this video. This is a, a kind of a pre-release look. This comes out on the 20th of May. And uh, in front of us is the Scania 129 Touring Bus. This is the second of the three buses in the Touring DLC. Uh, in the last video, I showed you the first one, which is the Scania 137. This is the 129. It's very similar to the 137, just a little bit more cut down. Uh, although I think it may have some more extra luggage. Oh, crikey, look at this. I hate these turnaround points. I, don't, I just don't understand why they're even in the game. The traffic... I've dialed the traffic down, by the way. Um, I actually tried to make this video, and all the traffic completely gridlocked here and wouldn't move and wouldn't despawn. So I've dialed it down to, like, 50 instead of 100. Because the AI is honestly still broken. Anyway, this is a Scania 129. I configured it in a, a nice blue color. We are uh, where we left off pretty much. Actually, where we left off was here at the stop, which is near the... Uh, there was like a station here. I think it was a train station, maybe, uh, in Brussels. And I think we took a tour that way, didn't we, last time? So what we'll do is we'll probably go out this way, uh, maybe turn right there and, and go past the fuel station. We'll kind of take this road past the fuel station and then track straight over, get on there, and exit up to Ghent is where we're going to go. I'm just looking at these, um, sorry, my, my City Skyline's head is just triggered because I'm looking at these uh, junction designs. I can't, I think this is called like a turbine or something. It, there's a, as you come off the ramp, there's basically an access road to all three directions, which is kind of cool. They're quite efficient. They're kind of like a roundabout, but not a roundabout. Look at that. Looks like a knot, doesn't it? Anyway, we're going to Ghent, which is here. It doesn't look like a particularly big city, but this is in the northwestern part uh, of Belgium. We went from Charleroi to Brussels in the last video, so this video we're going to go to Ghent. Anyway, let's uh, stop chatting, otherwise we're going to get late. Let's jump on the bus. You you'll see it's very similar to the... Uh, let's get the engine started. Very similar to the 137. Let's get the door closed. So again, it has a front and a mid door. We'll bring down the screen. That is so noisy. Bring down the window a little bit. Uh, we'll get the Wi-Fi turned on, the reading lights, and the aircon, and then we'll just get the temperature up to 21. They seem to be comfortable with that. Personally, I don't like 21. I'd, I'd rather have 19 on a journey. I like it slightly cooler uh, so I don't get travel sick. <laughs> um, yeah, that should be that set up. So we'll just get around to the, the uh, depot now, if the game will allow us. Like I see the traffic building up already. It's one of the Flix buses. So I don't expect that BMW to wait for me. I think you're probably trying to drive into us. Have you noticed, like, the cars in the game? Like, that's an MAN truck, a BMW, either an X3 or an X5, and then a Mercedes, or C or an E-Class. Can't work out what it is. Um, nobody else. Like, you don't... It seems to be just all German, like, all German vehicles in the game. I know it's a German sim made by a German studio, but still... Is there actually anything else? Look like a BMW. And then, a, is that a Ford, actually? That might be a Ford. Maybe there are some others. From what I can see of this traffic, it's going to gridlock anyway. I'm just going to try and push my way through. Oh, he's turning left. He's turning left. That's exactly what happened when I tried to start the video last time. It completely gridlocked. Because now it's on red, and there's literally no way out of here. I, I think that's a wall, though. This is so broken. Let's have a look in the map. Like, you can't even get out the depot. Look, there's no, there's no way. There's nowhere else to go. And I don't know why so much traffic pours into here just to do a U-turn. Like, what is going on? I can't squeeze that way. Let's see what happens when it goes green. I don't think anything's going to move, though. And this is on traffic level 50, so this is like half the density of normal. And it's still gridlocked. 
If it doesn't move, I'll have to jump out and see if we can uh, drive around it. Maybe we can go down the left side of that MAN truck. Can't even get out of Brussels, guys. What's going on? Let's have a look at the outside of the truck. Yeah, so it's it's pretty similar to the 137. There's probably just some spec differences. Um, there's no details on the actual store page. Yeah, we're completely boxed in. We're completely boxed in, guys. I mean, I could reverse back that way, but there's no other way out, is there? I can go all the way back here, but... I don't think it's going to allow us to leave. If only there wasn't a wall here. Okay, well, I'm going to try and figure this out and um, see if I can actually leave the depot somehow. Right. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the shenanigans I've had to go through. Anyway, I've got us to the front of the queue and the traffic's building up for another gridlock, but we're out of here. See you later. Have fun with that. Yep, that depot is... <sighs> broken is the only other word for it. You can't get out of there. I had to dial the traffic down to non-existent, save the game, reload back in again so that it reset the traffic, and then drive to the front of the lights, save it, put the traffic back to normal, then reload the game again. <laughs> oh, this game. I mean, I don't want to sound a bit whiny, but why would you carry on releasing loads of DLC and not fixing basic driving problems like the AI being gridlocked constantly? It's for, it makes for like a more frustrating driver experience. Also, when I saved it, get this, right? When I saved it and loaded back in again, the bus configuration, I was expecting the bus to be exactly how I left it. So engine running, you know, all the, the lights turned on or um, window position, every, everything set how I left it. It wasn't. The, the, um, the sun visor was up. The window was up, the engine was off, so I turned it all on, but all the Wi-Fi was left turned on, and the reading lights, and uh, the display on the front, and the aircon temperature. All of that was like half of the bus was saved, and half of the config wasn't. Just, what? <laughs> anyway, we're, we're here now, that's the main thing. So, this part of Brussels we've already seen. I've left the traffic on uh, 50% just so we don't get any more, well, hopefully don't get any more major issues. I mean, it's nice to see all the parked vehicles and stuff, but the vehicles on the road, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'd like to have the density turned up, but if you do, then at, at junctions you can get a bit stuck, so it's a bit of a gamble if you dial it up, and there's no pedestrians, so... You are driving through scenery, but not necessarily through a living, breathing city, if that makes sense, which is, I guess, what the bus was about. Like, the bus is meant to try and tackle that in some way. Right, let's stop, and we'll kneel the bus down, open a couple of doors, get the luggage bay open. Just need to open one. Right, you lot. Uh, you're going to begin to... Fine. Also going to Ghent. It's good. It's right to Ghent. There's bound to be one. There's, there's, there you go. Ghent. Oh no. Eight to eight. There's, but there's always one. What are you looking at? There's always one person who shouldn't be in the queue. Don't tell me we're going to get a full house. <gasps> Just as I say that, every single person. Every single one. Look at that. Let's get that closed up. Let's see what time it is. Uh, 7.56 due to leave at 8 8. We should be able to skip forward time. Is there a way of uh, planning your route through this thing? Can you click on things? 
Wow, you still can't plot a route. Flipping heck. Okay, so we're going to follow it out, and then where it asks us to do a left turn up here, we're going to go right and then right again. Um, let's click on the time, make it jump forward. Should do it. It's now 8.07. Oh, we don't have to worry about any rain or anything. Yeah, I think that's must be a train station. Big Brussels train station there. Brussels Zweed. Okay, let's uh, ship doors. Nail the bus up. Parking brakes released. I don't want to leave early. It's 8.07, but I know we're going to be late anyway, so I kind of want to leave early, but I'll probably get deducted points if we left early. Come on. I wonder if you can change the information display, though. No, apparently not. Yeah, that scanner log in the middle, it strikes me that you can cycle through information on the on the real bus. Uh, you know, like in Eurotruck, in the trucks, you can press the I key and cycle through different panels. Maybe there's a key for it in this game. Couldn't see one when I looked through. It needs to be that way. We're not really going down that road. Is that cars only or something? I'm not driving down that. Actually, is that for like cars only for parking maybe? I'm thinking we're, we're better off down this road. Um, actually, we can take a right turn here. It'll, it'll shortcut across to the fuel station, I think. Blacked out windows on a van, very dodgy. Very dodgy, sir. Yeah, look at the reflection on that glass, though. You can see what I was talking about in the last video, the kind of weird... I don't know, it's like it, it's like a reflection that's then washed out, pixelated, so that it's not real. It's weird. Let's see if we can spot any more sights in Brussels. Uh, right... Uh somewhere not there because that was the car lane only can we go here maybe no that's a one way road okay we'll keep going this way perfect time look at that so this is like the main plaza in, in, uh, in Brussels I think central town square, I guess you would call it in the old days. And then this, I think, is where we're turning right, isn't it? Instead of left. Because I think this is like the big ringway system. Yeah, so we go right, then right, then straight over. I like the graffiti. <laughs> I wonder if they uh, went on Google Maps and saw that stuff and like, okay, we'll just copy that. I think it's straight on here, isn't it? Yeah, straight on then, right? Oh, okay, so that must be the... You see that bridge there? That must be the railway line that goes down to the train station we just left. AC is too cold. Why? It's not showing me the temperature now. Oh, 
think I must have inadvertently turned it off. Because it wasn't showing a temperature, it's showing 21 now, it was turned off. Maybe when I pressed the I key, when I was trying to access the panel information, maybe that turned it off. I guess Brussels in the DLC is probably the jewel in the crown, isn't it? At the four cities, this is probably the biggest one. And I have to say, a lot of it is just um, like giant office blocks. I mean, maybe it's like that in real life. I mean, they've got the road network, right? And they've got the localized traffic lights and things. Interesting that they put arrows on the red lights, look. Like the red light's got a straight on and a right. It's like, why, why does it matter? Why do you need the arrows on the red? You can't go anywhere anyway, so it's kind of pointless. Never seen that. Usually just put them on the green, if anything. Right, there's the fuel station. Don't believe we need any fuel. So we do need some fuel. Our fuel gauge is empty. Got to remember how you do this, huh? Oh, it wasn't on empty. I read that display there and it was down here. It should have been up here. That was weird. Oh, well. We'll grab some fuel anyway, top her up. Wait a second. Oh, that's the fuel efficiency. Wait a sec. Oh, there's the fuel gauge. I saw th that's so confusing. I saw the fuel symbol there and assumed that that was the um, the fuel gauge, and it's not. It's just how many liters per 100k you're doing. There's the fuel gauge. <laughs> oh well. Not to worry. Just the one fuel station in Brussels. I imagine business is pretty good. We are going to be so late. It is like 30 minutes into the journey. It's 8.37 on the clock. And we're not even left Brussels. <laughs> going to be about an hour late. Oh, hang on. I see some flags. Is this the... Um, it's like the big EU building. I think it might be, you know. Yep, that looks like the big EU building right there. Administration. Oi! I don't care if you police. Wait, he wants us to go left. Yeah, why don't I do that? Well, it's good to see they actually put that in. Oh, those flags look really bad. Did you see that? Those flags are, like, really jagged and torn. I think the price of this map DLC is 10 euros. So what's that, about... Probably about 9, 10 pounds? 12, 13 dollars, something like that? I think, I mean, it's a nice little extension to the drivability of Firmbus, but as a as a map package, if you think about what you get in Eurotruck and games like that, and the detail you get, I think it's a bit cheeky, actually, charging 10 euros for this. You got four cities, 10 euros. That's not a lot. 
If SCS did that, then Iberia DLC would have cost about 50 euros. <laughs> probably more. I don't know. I think probably better waiting until this stuff is on the uh, Steam sale. I think there's a Steam sale coming in June, actually. If you pick it up on a sale, it's probably worth extending your uh, driving world in Fernbus, but full price. Oof. Right, we get the speed up now. Is that some kind of gang crate? I'll work out what that structure is on the left. Oh my god. Those cows feel like they're a little bit close to the traffic lights. <laughs> traffic friendly cows. Blimey. Well, it gives them something to watch, I guess. They can just, like, watch all the AI get stuck. Right, on to the highway at last. So if I remember the map, it's basically all the way around and then we take a right at that weird junction and then it takes us up to uh, Ghent. See if we can pick up the pace a bit, we're already late. You don't hear much from the passengers these days, they don't tend to say a lot. They'll complain if the aircon's cold. Although I guess if we drove into the back of another vehicle, they'll probably have something to say about that. Since I stay along. Let's see, Charleroi, Gents on the right hand lane. Here we go. Gotta make sure you pick your lane. You get the lane choice wrong coming through there and <laughs> there's no going back. Those wind turbines are going a bit slow, I think. Okay. Well, I can see the coast, I think. Or is that just a weird blue haze? Nice big descent down. Mobile antenna mast on the right. Yeah, I think it was just a haze. I think we're still a bit far from the sea, aren't we? thinking about it. It just looked like it. I think that what the game does is draw like a blue haze in the distance and then overlay the map on it. It's a lot thing again. The draw distance thing. Well, we're now officially late. More cows right next to the motorway. As you do. I keep seeing these Lidl vans. Can't see a thing in that mirror, look at that. I don't think it's going to be too long before we get an officer's Ghent in the left lane.
Well, I can see tower blocks in the distance, so I'm guessing that's going to be uh, Ghent. I don't know anything about Ghent, no idea. But it looks like it's got a lot of tower blocks. I wonder if these um, power things are localised for Belgium or just generic. Speed down. Okay, I think I'm going to move to the left lane. Okay, this is there's more here than I thought. This is actually quite detailed. I have no idea what that thing is in the way, but this is cool. Underneath, uh, like an underpass type thing. TT, there's the little van. Yeah, a lot of high rise apartments. Scania truck. A Saikan, did you see that? They'd taken the name Scania and just moved the letters around and call it Saikan. Why don't I just email Scania and just go, look, can we just put your trucks in the game? Just put your name in the game. I'm sure they'd say yes. Well, this is a completely different style to Brussels, whereas Brussels, Brussels was like office block, office block, office block. This is very much more kind of townhouse in design. Is that like a mosque or something? And then back there, there was loads of high-rise apartments. Uh, no idea which lane. There would be the bus lane. What even is that? Is this the train station? What a weird design. Bicycles everywhere. Look at this. Do you know what? This feels more detailed than Brussels. That's weird. I kind of expected to get here and there's just not a lot here, but it's actually pretty uh, pretty decent. <laughs> yeah, I like this bit. This is really cool. Although it's kind of weird that I'm going this way and traffic on the right is coming the other way, which feels very UK. <laughs> feels like I'm driving on the left. This has got to be a train station. You know what? This, I like this place more than Brussels. Brussels felt a bit bland to me, but then maybe Brussels is bland. This feels way more detailed. Look at the reflection of our bus in that glass. Look at that. How bad is that? Like, seriously? Pretty certain the Unreal Engine can do reflections better than that. Uh, which way do we go in? Got to swing around and face back the other way, I think. Yeah, I like this. Ghent, Ghent is my favourite city so far that we've seen. Charleroi was okay. Brussels was a bit boring. This is this is nice. I mean, we're only 40 minutes late. It's no big deal, right? Ghent's unlocked. Ooh, Donuts. Okay. Let's uh, deboard these passengers. We have to. Oh, you. Wait, what? You're supposed. What? <laughs> okay. Alright. That's fine. I see how this is. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's have a look at what we got there. Complete that. So we got uh, refueling. We lost a point for refueling. 
not really sure why. Is that because we shouldn't have refueled? Uh, on schedule, no. <laughs> Resting quality, not relevant. Got points for that. All the traffic rules behaved. Driving behavior was fantastic. Apart from I got a bit close to one guy at the end there. Other than that, did pretty well. Cool, so that is, or that was, Brussels to Ghent. Ghent's pretty good, actually. I like it. Okay, so what we'll do in the next video is we're going to take a, we'll take a trip around Ghent. We'll pick up from here and we'll go out that way if we can. And then we'll go out to Antwerp. Hopefully Antwerp is um, pretty decent. Well, anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, trip here to Ghent. In the next one, as I say, we're going to take a trip to Antwerp. So look out for that video. Uh, in the meantime, well, I hope you enjoyed it. If you can be a thumbs up if you did. And uh, I shall see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Happy busting.